Hi, and welcome to Level Up with Sophie. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, solve question number seven here by inserting an image that shows you my work. This is a great um, way to have students, if you don't have a touch screen, to show their handwritten work. So they're not typing anything, they're actually working it out. And that's really important in math. So um, for number seven here, I'm going, I have the work already written out on my paper here, and I'm going to show you how one way you can do it. This one's through the Google Drive app. Another way they could do it is if they have a camera on their device. They can line up their image using the camera and take the picture and then insert the picture from their device. That's how a lot of students that use Chromebooks use it. All right, so this one, is, the way I'm going to do it this time is I'm going to use the Google Drive app. Um, and I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to click use camera. And then I'm going to take a picture of my work. And uh, so it gives me the option to retake or use it. So I'm going to use the photo, processing the upload. And then what you're, what the kid will do is once it's saved, make sure they're also, um, they want to make sure that they're in the right Google account. So that's important. <laughs> so then I'm going to go over here, which is the add media button. Click it. I'm going to add from my Google Drive. Make sure I'm in the right account. And it automatically is sorting through my images and videos. I'm going to look in my phone and my files. It's still uploading. So it's going to be image 6411. And since I know what the name is, I'm just going to write the 6411 in there and search for it. There it is. Click, select, and it will start hovering around my mouse here when it starts to load. It's loading the media now. So it will hover around my mouse. Click, ooh, and see how, okay. See here it is? Okay. So then I can, um, first of all, I could have gone in and cropped the image out. But I can also do this. I can, it follows my mouse until I click somewhere. So then I click, and then I have the option to resize it to make it fit in the space. And as the teacher, I can zoom in if I need to, so I can see what their work was or what their work is. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But I can also, as a student, I can crop it. And then resize it again. I can go back to the 150. And it's actually, you can see it a little easier there. There, look, see, now you have a worksheet that you're giving your students. It's 100% paperless for you as a teacher. Then for your kids, they have scrap paper and then proof that they did it in the document. Um, there, are, there are a variety, there are a variety of ways that students can get their images in here. They can add from their computer. They can add from a Google Drive. If their image is um, something that they don't need to create and they just search for it, they can add it from the Google image search. There are YouTube videos they can insert and there are stickers that you can add or they can add. It's a great job. All right. Thanks for watching.